Hey Recast, Pastor Don here. Uh, just a couple of updates about the announcement that I made earlier in the week about canceling our services uh, this Sunday and just being online on only. We've been awaiting uh, a couple of test results. Those came in this morning, and so I wanted to get out information as soon as possible to the church at large. A couple of things that may be mildly encouraging, and that's just simply that there's no confirmation that we've had any transfer or transmission of COVID-19 on our site. Um, although I had mentioned that Rachel DeVries uh, was uh, diagnosed positive, um, and now also Leah Klein has been diagnosed positive. It's unclear because there's a couple of sources by which Leah may have contracted it. The good news is that Leah on Sunday morning wore a mask the entire time that she was here at our, at our uh, church services. So uh, again, uh, not as much concern about Sunday morning, although all people uh, that contacted, uh, were in contact with Leah Klein, ought to observe themselves, uh, probably should quarantine, and then also observe themselves for symptoms. But then uh, on, the, on the downside is that uh, Leah and David, David Schrock also uh, had a test and he tested negative, and so that's encouraging. But Leah was at youth group with our Gravity students and then had a Gravity Girls activity on Sunday afternoon in which case all of those students that were in attendance ought to consider themselves exposed. Uh, one op option, uh, again, I know that you guys uh, have to think through what it means for your families. Um, simultaneously, uh, considering getting our kids tested, uh, as my uh, two of my kids were involved in that as well, and so you may consider that as an option. Obviously, you can go the route of quarantining for 14 days, in which case, obviously, you're in that for the long haul. Uh, but again, we're uh, by canceling the service this Sunday, uh, we really will be two weeks out and all symptoms should present themselves in that period of time. And in the case that the symptoms have presented themselves, uh, we're asking people obviously to skip as many services as you need to, to be symptom free and follow the CDC guidelines on that. So again, I think there's good reason for us to have services in two weeks. Um, as long as uh, we're able to do so, and uh, again, as long as like not everybody is symptomatic or something to that effect, we should be able to continue to have services. And I want to clarify um, one last uh, thing, that all of those who have contracted it have had an extremely mild case. Uh, all of them, all of them that I know of uh, that have been impacted or had to be tested are already uh, asymptomatic and feeling well, but they're continuing their quarantine just out of, uh, again, an abundance of caution. And so, again, if you were in contact with, um, with Leo Klein this past Sunday, uh, consider yourself uh, called to quarantine during this time. And uh, if you've got any questions, you can feel free to contact me. I expect some questions anyways, but uh, God is on his throne. He's in control. I think this has been handled quite well considering how bad it could be. And I encourage you, if you have teens, to, to observe them, to watch them, and to uh, quarantine, uh, maybe even consider getting tested. But uh, thank you for watching this.